social media world, it's me, it's me. It's the N-D-T Show. In today's episode, I like to call... Be 40 Questions. See, folks, I have been tagged to answer 40 questions and to do a video entry of that 40 questions. So let's take a peek inside my mind and see what this 40 questionnaire is all about. You want to? Vicky Wells. Vicky Wells has tagged me in this 40 questionnaire. If y'all don't know who Vicky Wells is, I will leave her channel link in the description below. If anybody wants to, can check her out if you want to. Vicky Wells, here you go. Here's my video entry to your tag 40 questions. Number one, do you like blue cheese? No. Number two, Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I'm married. Hot dog or hamburger? Hot dog. Uh, whiskey, tequila, or vodka? I'm not a drinker. None of them. Uh, number six, my favorite food. Uh, taters. Potato. Number seven, what do you drink in the morning? I'm not a morning person. I don't get up until after at least 12 o'clock, but sometimes I'll roll out of bed during the Halloween season, which is this month. I've been getting up about 10 o'clock. And the first thing I grab is basically anything in the refrigerator, which would be a Mountain Dew, Gatorade, water, or Pepsi. Lately, I've been drinking a lot of Pepsi, so yes. Something like that. Can you do 100 push-ups? No, I probably couldn't do one. Favorite season of the year? Uh, Halloween is my favorite season, but it's not really a season, so to speak. You would have to, you have to quarter guy category that in the fall, and fall is not my favorite season. So I would say spring is my favorite season, but I do enjoy some Halloween. Uh, if that makes any sense. Do I have a hobby? Uh, yes, I do YouTube as a hobby, and I collect uh, wrestling merchandise, such as uh, TNA, you know wrestling, like AEW, WCW. I collect wrestling action figures and merchandise, kind of a hobby. And I also uh, kind of got a pretty good movie collection, so yeah, I'm into that too. Uh, number 11, do I have any tattoos? No, no tattoos. Do you wear glasses? Number 12. No, no glasses. Number 13. Any phobias? I don't like spiders if they're huge and they're jumping kind. I don't care for that. And uh, heights. I don't, I don't care much for heights, but if I have something to stand on and I can get my balance, I'm pretty okay with it. But other than that, no. What is your nickname? I really don't have a nickname. People does call me Spike, Nail, stuff like that. But other than that, I, I, I guess that's a nickname. Not really big on nicknames. Uh, favorite candy? I do like chewing gum if you call that a candy, but I guess not. Uh, Kit Kat and Reese Cups. Do you believe in ghosts to a certain extent? I'll leave it at that. What is your biggest regret? Not going to take a class called drama and taking a career in it, such as acting. I would love to have done that. That's my favorite, biggest regret. Rain or snow? Rain, because I don't like driving in the snow. Let's see. That was number 18. Number 19, any Pearsons? No. Number 20, what is my age? I am 39 years old. And I'm feeling it. French fries or onion rings? French fries. That was number 22. No, that was number 21. Number 22, how many kids? None. Uh, 23, favorite color? Red or blue? I choose blue. Uh, I don't know, I like red pretty good too. It's either red or blue. Can you sing? No. That was number 24. Number 25, can you whistle? 
<laughs> Not really. Uh, where were you born? To be honest, I uh, really don't know, to be honest. Uh, I must like Hawkins County, but I'm not sure. Uh, any siblings? No. Let's see. Can you cook? Just a couple of things. Can you swim? Number 29. No. Are you religious? Number 30. To a certain extent. Religious. You can get into that deep and down and dirty if you wanted to about being religious. Uh, been saved by the grace of God. I go to church this year more than I ever have. Again, starting back, you know what I mean? Uh, the pandemic has slowed it down a little bit because uh, it's just the way it is. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, I believe in getting saved by the grace of God and being baptized. So, yeah, religious, I guess I am religious. Shower or bath, number 31. Bath. You know, you get, I go back to that question, religious. You really don't think about it until ask somebody really asks you. Then you think, well, maybe you're not that religious, but you get down deep and thinking about it. Pretty much I, I am. Uh, city of nature, 32. City of nature. City or nature. Uh, nature. Number 33, are you a good friend? I don't really know. I don't claim to be nothing. I don't claim to be a good friend or anything. Maybe I am, maybe I ain't. Hmm. That's somebody you would have to ask somebody else that. I really don't know that question. Any broken bones, number 34? Uh, no. Go back to 33. Are you a good friend? I consider myself, I probably would be a pretty good friend. Number 35. How many TVs do you own? Three. Number 36. Worst pain ever. Worst pain ever is what I'm going through right now with my stomach issues. I've had it for almost three years, seems like, ever since I took my gallbladder out. I won't go into full detail on that, but I hurt every day, and I feel like I'm dying every day. Now, number, I keep on going with that, but I'll just, nah, we'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Uh, number 37. Do you like to dance? Not really, no. I might get out there and act crazy sometimes, or... But that's about it. I don't dance. Do you like camping? Yes. Are you weird? I claim to be weird. Yes. Which six people am I tagging to take part in this challenge? That's number 40. Six people. Who am I going to challenge here? I don't know. Let me look up some people. <laughs> and before I pick my six people that I'm going to tag here, let's go back to that question about religions. Religious. Uh... I'm going to talk about it a little bit because that's just the way I am. I guess I'm more religious than I thought I was to begin with. Uh, uh, like I said, I've been saved by the grace of God. Uh, he is my Savior. Uh, I, couldn't, I can't breathe without Him. I can't do anything without Jesus Christ. Uh, he died on the cross for us. He gave His own life for uh, to wash away our sins, so to speak. And uh, to anybody out there that's uh, lost without him and is seeking him uh, I'll be praying for you and best advice is go to church and read the Bible the best way you can and seek him out more I don't know how to explain it but uh, do what you gotta do to seek him in your life because you can't live without him uh, I mean you can't live Beyond this world, this world is you nothing but a body. You know, if you, if anybody knows what I mean, you're nothing but a a vessel here on earth, and that's it. Uh, seek Him, get saved by the grace of God, Jesus Christ, our Savior, so you will enter heaven's gates one of these days, and I won't have to worry about none of this stuff that. Some people may be going through. Uh, seek him. Uh, go to church. Best best way you can. 
uh, or just talk to him while you're at home or anywhere in the world, whole world. He's always there. He's not just in a church. He's not just in a house. He's not. At, he's at your work. He is. He's with you at all times. He'll never forsake you. So, that's my. Since we got on the subject and that question came up in the forty questionnaires, I figured I just wanted to testify, so to speak, a little bit. My testimony. I thank God every day that I'm saved, and one of these days I'm going to go home. And no more suffering here on earth. Everybody, there's a lot of suffering going on in this world. The world itself is suffering. So seek him. He's your savior. You can't do it without him. And that's just my testimony. I don't want to offend nobody out there in the world, but that's just me talking. Just my opinion. Now, on to the six people that I'm going to tag. Number one. First person I'm or first channel I'm going to tag is it's a state I can't never pronounce your name correct channel it's a steak steak sexy thing I can't pronounce it I hope you know who I'm talking to it's a steak sexy thing it's a steak sexy I will leave his channel link in the description below it's a steak sexy thing I can never say that name right and I'm number two I'm going to tag. Loving Life Hitched Up. You have been tagged. Uh, Miss Canadian Scrapper. You have been tagged. Crystal Pets and Plants. You have been tagged. Rob Scaller. You have been tagged. And I do not have no idea how many I've tagged so far. But I'm going to tag another one called Husky and Wolf Dog. You have been tagged. Now if I've left... This, I don't know if that's six or what it is. I've done lost count. I'll leave their links in the description below who I have tagged. And if I left anybody, the sixth one out, I don't know how many, like I said, I don't know how many I've done. I will leave the links in the description below. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all take care and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Kind of looks like uh, that right there, a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe only if you like my content. Subscribe right there and comment below anything about this video right down there anywhere right down there and make sure you ring the bell before you go and we'll catch you on the next episode of the end.